Worldwide, countries are moving away from landfills towards a future-oriented circular economy. The most efficient solution for sustainable waste management is waste to energy. Separated municipal solid waste, or RDF, from sorting plants is delivered to the site and stored in a bunker. A crane thoroughly mixes and feeds the waste into the hopper. From there it is pushed onto the grate by a ram feeder. A 24-7 control system ensures stable and efficient staged combustion and optimised burn-off loss on the grate. The waste is moved onto the reciprocating grate, temperatures over 850 degrees for at least two seconds, allow complete burning of the waste, which leads into low carbon values. Once combustion is complete, the inert ash that remains falls into the bottom ash extractor. The principal components are slags and ashes, consisting mostly of non-combustible waste constituents, such as glass, minerals, or scrap metals. From here, it can be taken to a treatment facility for metal recovery and reuse of the inert material for road construction. The gases released from the waste are mixed with secondary air and the recirculated flue gases above the grate. The flue gases from the combustion are cleaned to the strictest standards in the downstream flue gas treatment system and are continuously monitored before being released into the atmosphere via the stack. The thermal energy in the flue gases is used to produce superheated steam, which is expanded in a turbine generator to generate electricity. Alternatively, the heat can be used for process steam supply, or also combined with the heat from flue gas condensation for district heating purposes. Part of the electricity generated supplies the plant while the rest is fed into the grid as base load energy to support grid stability. This makes electricity accessible to households and businesses. The waste generated in daily life is in turn collected and fed into the EFW plant. The cycle is being closed.